They were known as the quota quickies, cheap movies produced in Victoria during the 1930s to satisfy a British film content quota. And it was a matter of quantity, not quality. Veronica Cooper explains. Secrets of Chinatown was one of several films made in Victoria in the 1930s. These films were known as quota quickies. There was a quota in Britain that a certain percentage of films shown on British screens had to be made in the British Commonwealth. So American producers put money into production in Canada. But not a lot of money. The idea was to make films quickly and cheaply to fulfill the quota. And I believe about 10 or 12 of them were made in Victoria. Secrets of Chinatown probably being the most notorious. This film is set in Vancouver, but was shot almost entirely in Victoria. We mustn't be seen talking. Fantan Alley shows up in one shot. There is a police chase through Fairfield, and there's a big climactic dust-up on the slopes of what looks like Gonzales Hill. But the plot? It's a pretty nasty piece of xenophobia, and this film is full of things that make you sort of sit up and say, is that really happening? Virtually all of the Chinese characters are played by white actors in really bad makeup. You have more important patients than I. The Chinese consul in Vancouver was not happy with and said that this film unfairly represented Chinese Canadians. The consul in Vancouver complained to the consul general in Ottawa and he went to the Department of External Affairs and said that this was going to do harm to relations between Canada and China. The film did premiere in Victoria March 8, 1935 and played for nearly a week. Ah, you do not know the Oriental mind. The British Columbia Provincial Police came into the theatre and seized the film at the request of the provincial censor. I think uh, this is an important film. The quota quickies are important because they do represent the beginning, in a way, of an indigenous film industry for Canada. The Royal BC Museum and Archives holds a copy of this quota quickie from Library and Archives Canada in Ottawa.